Okay, so this is um reboot series for my uh tutorials, um uh, my platform tutorial to be more specific. Um let's get started. Uh we can start with the background or uh character, but um shoot. it's best to start off with the background first and then your character for like scaling. But uh for now we're just gonna work on character animation. So we're gonna input active object and uh Let's make this a bit bigger. Say 120 by 120. Nah, that's a bit too small for height. Um, 250 maybe. That's about right. Let's zoom in just a bit. Yeah, so just a simple uh, stick man. Ah, uh, shoot, that's a bit too tall. Was it paying attention? Um, shoot. Okay, so just gonna do a bit of editing here. So this character might end up being really small, but uh, that's all right. That's a bit uh, offside. It don't want his head to be like that. So I might release an update video um, sometime, just not at the moment. Um, shit, I'm gonna just stop babbling right now. That's not good. Okay. Um. You know what? Let's crop this and then, uh, yeah, press the I the view hotspot. You click that, and it, that's where, uh, you know, an actual point. Um, shoot, I, I was hoping that they'd be more self explanatory, but, uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like going into it right now. Um, because I don't even fully understand it, to be honest. But basically, that's, uh, your hitbox. For like when your characters hit and whatnot, or when the screen centers on them. Okay, now we're gonna add a bit of a breathing animation. Normally I wouldn't do this unless uh, shoot the um character had like a stamina bar for like running animations and whatnot. But uh, this time I think I'll make an exception. Great, now we're gonna copy and paste this th animation. Oh, and also we're gonna wanna loop it. It's a short animation, so let's say we don't wanna be too fast. Eight, and then loop. Okay, not sure if we could preview it. No, it's all black. Okay, so, um, shoot. Okay, so now we're gonna start on the walking animation. I know I just put that stop the animation there, but that's because we're gonna undo that. And then we're gonna want this to be a bit wider. Now, why did I put that there? Well, there's a this displays previous or next frame. This is called onion skinning, and it allows you to see the previous image. Sometimes it won't work if like you're zoomed in, which sucks. Sometimes. Or all the time, depending. But uh, it's not too bad. I'm just gonna start out simple. And okay. Now you can copy and paste this. We're not gonna crop or anything just yet. Um, normally, if you want, you can just edit your previous image. But uh, I just like to, uh, you know, be a bit more professional and start all the way over. Which, if you're working on a really detailed sprite, that can take 
a lot of time but the end results worth it like people go oh my gosh this looks amazing I wish I had the patience to do this so yeah hard work pays off in the end so yeah okay and now shoot that's not really proportionate sometimes it takes a while and there we go all those hits kind of cut off there you know what we're not going to keep this animation so you kind of wish I didn't do that okay sorry about that This looks more like a running animation, but I guess he'll only have like one speed when we're done with him. And because he's like a stick figure, we don't need to do the whole like differentiation with like left arm and right arm, like with shading and whatnot. What I'm trying to say is we won't need as much frames or detail at all. Um, yeah. So we probably won't be able to see this, but uh, okay, this is on four frames, so let's keep it at 10, 10. Um, high speed and lower speed, I never really use them differ differentially. Um, I just like to keep my uh, characters at a constant speed. Okay, wait, I forgot to copy and paste them. So this will basically be like the only uh, frames we'll be using. And I forgot to cut to uh, crop them, and uh, at the hot spots. You don't want to do this for all of them. Which I'm sorry if you continue to do this without a. Uh, you know, you could have done it for like the other frames before flipping them, but uh, what was the thing? Okay, now that we're done with that, um, let's give him a name. I'll give it the uh, sticky. I guess. That's so common, like sticky the stick man. Okay, now for movement, you're gonna want to go to movement here. Movement one. You can have multiple movements. Like um, I'll show you an ex a quick example. Like uh, create new movement and movement two will be static. Let's just leave that there. I'll show you something really cool when we get a chance. But for now, make movement one. Uh, platform movement. I know people say like these custom movements like suck, and you should just use another one from uh, this other guy. But uh, it's not too bad. Let's set his speed to like 35 or 30. I suppose that's what I like to use sometimes. Um. Oh wait. Uh, his initial direction should just be this way. Um. He can look any way you want. Uh, if you want more players, um, I'll just show you real quick. You can duplicate him no wait, you don't duplicate you clone him yeah just clone him and then you with that clone you make him player two plus you also set his control functions but uh let's not get into that now i have another tutorial on that you can watch let's set his jump strength to 100 and keep the uh jump control um at button one i'll show you something really cool with that now it's time to get into programming Okay, uh, you, as you can see, you all already got stuff uh, here. Player one control, always. Yeah, so I'll show you how to do this real quick. Um, you go to always. Uh, scrollings center window position in frame. This centers the uh, screen always on uh, your character, which is cool. And uh, this is uh, also kind of important. You should already know I did this keyboard. I'm probably pressing the key up arrow. Um, that's going to go over player one, player control, set key uh, to four fire. That's a uh, control one when uh, jumping, and press up, and it will set key forward to up arrow. So you can jump with the up arrow instead of having to, you know, use both the moving button and the up arrow. Okay, 
Now, um, another thing we're going to do is test position of sticky. And um, this is the sides of the uh, frame you don't want it to go through, especially like the ground, which would be down. And that'll make, we want it to stop. And now, when he leaves right, next frame. Let's test that out. See that breathing animation? I know it looks a bit awkward, but it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm just trying to edit these real quick. But, you know, I probably won't need to. You get it. Okay, and, um, I guess that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. Um, I can show you a more detailed example if you want, but, uh, I guess this is it for now. Thanks for watching.